Plus, this is lesson two about factors that influence temperature. And in lesson one, we looked at factors like latitudinal location and altitudinal location. So the third factor is distance from the coast. Coastal areas have their temperatures changing because they are always affected by both land breeze and sea breeze. The exchange of cold air from the sea to the land and from the land to the sea because of different pressure zones brings us to a difference in temperature either on land or on the sea. Then we have prevailing winds. This can be well explained under the planetary wind system. Some winds blow from polar regions to the doldrums, and other winds blow from doldrums and mid latitudes to the polar regions, carrying air of different temperature. And therefore, different regions served by these different winds will end up having different temperatures. We have the nature of the ground surface. This can be explained in many ways. One student may look at vegetation cover of this ground surface. Another student may look at man's activities practiced on this ground surface. And others may look at the color of this ground surface. For example, if you look at color, dark and black surfaces absorb more heat from the sun and therefore these areas are likely to be having high temperature compared to bright surfaces which reflect heat and light back. Another student may look at this ground surface in terms of maybe vegetation cover and he will or she will explain in her own understanding. For example, if there is thick vegetation on the ground surface, this thick vegetation may act as a shade and end up lowering temperatures on the ground. Or when it comes to thick vegetation on the ground surface, it may also increase the rate of transpiration, produces much vapor, which joins the atmosphere and finally lowers the temperature of atmosphere because this vapor absorbs much heat. So it depends on one's explanation. Next we have the nature of the ground slope. Nature of the ground slope. And this one can be simplified by maybe calling it the aspect, the angle at which the slope is located towards the sun rays. Some slopes are directly facing the sun and therefore they receive more sun rays than other slopes which are hidden from the sun rays. So angle, I mean slopes which are directly facing the sun are hotter than slopes which are hidden from the sun rays. This is obvious. Then we have cloud cover. Cloud cover. How much clouds do we have in atmosphere? And here science tells us that cloudy nights and days are warmer than cloudless nights and days. You see? Because uh, when the nights and days are full of clouds, it means air temperature will increase because the clouds remain with air in the atmosphere. Less, less, less temperature will reach the acid surface. Instead, it is around the clouds in the same atmosphere. And we have the temperature of the atmosphere increasing because 
heat from the sun remained with clouds. However, this can reduce temperatures on the ground. And when we say on ground, this is not air temperature. When we say on ground, temperatures will reduce because much of the temperature has been captured by clouds in the atmosphere. Then we have ocean currents. Definitely we have ocean currents of two types according to their temperature. We have warm ocean currents and cold ocean currents and definitely areas served by cold ocean currents are always hotter, even deserts compared to areas affected by or served by warm ocean currents. Then we have relief. This one brings, back, brings us back to the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. But this time on the ground, not from the surface of the earth as you move to the upper layers of the atmosphere. This time it is, for example, use a mountain. As you climb a mountain to the top, temperatures keep on reducing. The higher you go, the cooler it becomes. And here, you can also borrow knowledge from the two sides of a mountain, the leeward side and the windward side. The windward side is always, uh, is always cold. Uh, the leeward side is always hotter than the windward side because the leeward side experiences descending winds and dry winds in nature. Then the windward side experiences warm, moist winds and which don't descend. Instead, they ascend. This diagram illustrates the nature of the landscape or relief and temperatures keep on reducing as one moves towards the peak of the hill or the mountain and if we call this leeward side and windward side here you'll find temperatures high and temperatures low we have time at noon, air temperature is hotter than in the morning and evening hours. Why? Because I think at noon, the sun is overhead. Then we have earth revolution. As the earth revolves around the sun, it leads to changes in climate and seasons which are associated with the change in temperature. Seasons have got a great influence on temperature. For example, in wet season and dry season, temperatures are not the same. In dry season, temperatures are high. In wet season, temperatures are low. Man's activities because man is responsible for bush burning, man is responsible for industrialization, man is responsible for deforestation, man is responsible for swamp clearing, and therefore man can either cause rise in temperature or fall in temperature. Thank you.